in the presence of the Lord. Father, how often have I desired just to be in your presence, just to feel the love of your glorious presence is surely the desire of my heart. Words cannot express this hunger inside of me that screams out just to touch you. It seems as if I can hear the silence of the night echoing in my mind. Down through the corridors of time, many have sought for your presence. You said that if we would seek you with all of our hearts, that we would find you. I cry and want the deepest desires to be in your presence. I know that in your presence, there is fullness of joy. No man can measure the fullness of your love. This complex vessel that I live in, oh how could mere man ever hope to know by what means it came to be? If only they would humble themselves in your sight and accept the knowledge that comes from you. I crave your tender love that knows no boundaries. Instill in me, O oh God, the fullness of your love. Holy Spirit, move over my soul, touch my mind, and renew my spirit. I stand alone before your eyes. Behold thy servant. Look upon my handmaiden, O oh God. I beseech you, O oh God of Abraham, enter now into this place and fill me with thy truth. I diligently search for you. I pray, O oh God, that my prayers would break the silence that fills this place. I pray that my prayers will break forth in triumph and become fervent and effectual. There is no other place than this. Here in the shadow of thy wings, I feel the ecstasy of your embrace. I am in your power. I know no other. Saturate my very being with your holy presence. Walk through the corridors of my mind and fill me with thine understanding. Engrave thy law into my heart. Search me and know me. For of a truth, Lord, if thou searchest me, thou shalt know me and cleanse me. If thou wash me, I shall be clean, and if you touch me, I shall be made whole. Your touch is as a flaming fire that pierces deep into my soul, plunging me into the cleansing stream of life. My heart yearns for you to be near me. My inward parts scream aloud for you to come closer to me. How can I ever be the same now that you have come unto me? How could cold prayers or cold worship ever satisfy you, O Lord? My heart is an open book in you. You, my Father, hold the pen in your hand. Engrave into my heart your perfect love. How may I know you? How can such a perfect love ever even enter into a vessel of clay? So unworthy and so lowly. The heart of man. Oh, how unworthy. Please allow me, I pray thee, to catch my breath as I feel your tender presence draw near to me. Woe is me, for who am I? I look away in shame, for I am not worthy to be here. I beg you for mercy, for my vessel cannot contain this. I scream out for mercy as I force myself away. I'm as far away as I can get, and yet... You still move upon me, causing me to wilt and fall upon my face. My body trembles in thy presence, and the tears are those of great fear and yet intense joy. I feel as I will explode, and yet I do not wish for you to leave. Oh, but you must. I am human, Lord, and please see that I cannot endure this supreme force of power. Laughter fills my bosom as your spirit fills me. Silence falls and a reverencing spirit such as I have never known surrounds me. I cannot speak, only lie there in the afterglow of your love. I wish to linger in your presence forever. How can I express this thing that I feel? How can I say to someone what it is like to be in the presence of the Lord? Perhaps I can say it with the smile that you have placed in my soul that manifests itself upon my lips. I think your word says it best, for truly it is joy unspeakable and full of glory. The taste of wine from your glass, how excellent, O oh Lord, is the fruit of the vine. 
Perhaps there are those that think me to be crazy. I only know that I love this feeling and I must have it. I cannot live, nor can I even die without you. You are the very breath that I breathe, the very beat of my heart. Your touch is a treasure, yea, a priceless treasure beyond compare. I feel as though I could soar through the heavens and dance across the stars. I shall leap from star to star, and the earth shall see the glory of the Lord. I see the flowers lifting their heads to the only hope to catch a glimpse of your glory. The waves flash against the seashore, begging to know you in your fullness. Even the pages of books wish to have the knowledge that you possess. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of the earth. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Your words are forever settled in heaven. Your words are pure and true. You are faithful and just, O God of heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Increase my faith and allow my soul to find rest in the hope of thy return, that it may purify me. Make me whiter than snow, O God. Cleanse me and wash me. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy holy presence, lest I die the death of a fool. Even in all thy greatness and in all thy fullness, please help me to remain humble in thy sight. I am no one, and without you, O Lord, I have no hope. Men put their trust in themselves, but I put my trust in thee, O God. Melt my heart as the wax of a candle before your presence. I am but of the dust of the earth, and surely am not worthy to stand in thy holy presence. I am your prisoner, Lord. You have captivated my heart. I am lovesick for you. I am jealous over you. You are a patient God and a gracious God with eyes full of compassion and mercy and love. There is none beside thee who dares to compare with the living God. Who would be foolish enough to ever think themselves equal or above him? There is none above him. There was no God created before him, neither after him. Only gods carved with stone made by the hands of mere men came after him. And before him none, for in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. He has spoken the world into existence with his own mouth and fashioned it in with his own hand. Let he who is wise increase in wisdom. Let he who is in sin repent before him. Let all who hear the voice of the Lord and obey him come to the knowledge of the beauty of being in the presence of the Lord.